what is primary cutaneous CD4 positive small and medium T cell proliferative disorder provisional? So this, this is a very uh, complicated entity, uh, which we call small pleomorphic T cell lymphoma of the skin. This is a relatively benign entity uh, in that it usually presents as a solitary lesion, uh, which is a small tumor in most cases. It's treated fairly simply um, and most patients do not recur. The word provisional is added because the WHO classification of lymphomas has actually decided that because this is a relatively benign disorder, to call it a lymphoproliferative disorder and not a cancer. How is this different than cutaneous T cell lymphoma? This is a subset of what we call cutaneous T cell lymphoma. Cutaneous T cell lymphoma includes a number of different entities. Most commonly, we think about mycosis fungoides and the Sesary syndrome because those are the two most common cutaneous lymphomas. Pleomorphic T cell lymphoma is a subset that's very rare it comprises about 1% of all cutaneous lymphomas. What does this type of cutaneous lymphoma look like? Well, typically patients present with a small nodule or a tumor. These can be slightly bigger than a pimple or they can actually be fairly large tumor masses. Typically they occur on the face or the upper, the upper back or chest, but these can occur anywhere on the body. What are the treatment options? Well, the treatment options are varied. First of all, there is local excision, which is oftentimes how we make the diagnosis anyway. So the whole tumor may be just simply excised. In that case, the treatment options could include watching and waiting and no further therapy, or if the margins are positive around the tumor, then local radiotherapy. A second option could be to not excise the whole tumor and just to deliver a local radiotherapy to the actual tumor itself. These types of tumors do not require uh, systemic chemotherapy and that is an important point to remember. What is the prognosis? Well, it turns out the prognosis is excellent for this type of T-cell lymphoma. In fact, we did a series looking at about 40 patients at our institution and some of these patients were followed for 20 years, and there was no recurrence in most of these patients. A small number, perhaps, you know, two or three percent might develop a second lesion at some point in time, but for the majority of patients, the prognosis is excellent with no risk of recurrence.